Hey guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Exit the Games Advent Calendar, The Hunt for the Golden Book. This has 24 days of puzzles and escape room type events that you will use uh, as you progress throughout the month of December until you get to Christmas. This is made by Thames and Cosmos. It plays one or more players, takes roughly about 24 days to play, and it's for ages 10 and up. This game here is a beginner's guide or beginner mode for your escape room excitement, and it is uh, pretty simple and pretty straightforward. We'll go ahead and talk about how you set the game up and uh, how you play, and of course, what I thought about the game, and I'll do it all wrapped up into one because this is an exit game. I do not want to give any spoilers, and even if I did, I couldn't because this game is not uh, visually, uh, it's visually impaired, so, so to speak. If you know anything about the exit games, you'll know that as you play them, you'll tear things and rip things and use certain portions of the board that you normally wouldn't use at the beginning, at the end, etc., etc. So I'm just going to kind of gush into this game and tell you what I think about it uh, right We'll talk about it right now. Yeah, so not even a screen transition to anything special because I don't want to give anything away about this game. This is an advent calendar. How it plays is pretty simple. You open up the box, it's going to have two separate booklets. One is a storybook and one is how to play. You'll read through the how to play up until the point it says to stop. Then you'll go to the storybook and you'll read day one. Day one will finish. You'll read day two and three and four. And each day is going to give you a story that is continual from day one all the way up until the last day. And it's it's going to also give you a little bit of a hint as to what you'll get inside each of the different days of the advent calendar. Um, and then the main rule book is going to have a uh, how to play each day, so to speak, answers, solutions, and clues. And you can use these clues in the booklet as you move along. Uh, uh, each day is going to present unique and different puzzles, and you're going to move from one different portion of the advent calendar to the next based on a answer key. And I can show you the back of the box. The back of the box is going to have an answer key um, that you can, you'll be using in the game. It has all these clue cards that you'll find in most exit games. There's puzzles, there's tokens, there's all kinds of things that you're going to get inside this game. And then as you see, these are the two booklets here. But yeah, that's a pretty much how you set this game up. You can play by yourself, you can play with a multitude of people, and uh, you can switch it up. Each and every day does not need to be with the same people. However, you most likely will be playing this with the same people because of how damn fun this game is. That being said, you got the how to play, you understand the setup, it's pretty simple. You open this up, you read the day that you're on, then you pull out the box from the advent calendar and you try and solve the puzzle. If you can't, use the help booklet. If you still can't, use the solution and you can move on the next day up until Christmas. So what do I think about Advent Calendar The Hunt for the Golden Book? Well this is actually, and I've played a lot of these, my favorite exit game. This one is done to perfection. Uh, whoever designed this game put a lot of love and thought into the story. It's cute, it's fun, it's friendly, it's memorable. Each day has kind of a unique theme and that theme is wrapped around a full story as you try and search for Santa's lost golden book in order to save Christmas. However, there's a thing in the shadows that is attempting to stop Christmas and you need to go uh, into this mysterious like house that has a bunch of unique doors just like you'll be going into this game opening up each door and it'll have like a new a time or event in history that you're going to be searching for clues from the previous person or thing or whatever type of monster or being that it was that was there that's trying to ultimately ruin Christmas. You might be going and meeting something like a, a certain apartment in a certain room on a certain street. You might also be visiting a manger. It's possible that you might be going sledding. You might be uh, checking out different untold mysteries throughout the past and it has a lot of different exciting adventures. Perhaps you might even visit a white rabbit. Yes, there is a a lot that goes on through this game and each day has a unique little story that plays out and it gets progressively even better than the last. Some puzzles are a little more challenging than others and I can say that the only small negative is that some days, I think maybe two of the 24 days they'll be playing in this game, were a little confusing and didn't make a whole lot of sense as far as how the puzzles went. They were supposed to be easy but if you look too much into it you might you know, push yourself too far and get lost. So it's always kind of the base, just think of it as a basic puzzle and there's 
certain things you want to solve. And yes, there are some mysterious uh, choices that you can make. Sometimes you'll need to be looking in and discovering what's inside each of the advent calendar days, or you'll need to be using the box in some way, or the booklets, or the back of the papers, or all the papers themselves. Do save every single thing that you rip out, tear out, or pull out from this box. You are going to be using, or hopefully, most likely using all of this stuff as the days progress. And if you do not have it, if you threw it away from the previous day, you're going to be stuck and you'll have to basically use the solution and you won't get to solve the mystery, which is a lot of fun. And most of them are very intuitive and have unique little tricks and turns and whatnot. You'll be solving puzzles and you'll be Fit, uh, going through mazes or eye spying your way through different things and yes I really 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 enjoyed this one here because of the unique twists and turns that's presented in this box and like I said everything in this box is going to be used there's a bunch of little surprises that we would not assume that this box might have I want you to think of a Neil Patrick Harris's game he did he did a uh type of escape room style game, which uses like the computer and all that kind of stuff. I reviewed it a while ago. This one has that same technique and that same thing. That's got, it's, got, it's got more than meets the eye to it. There's no computers. You don't need your phone anyway, none of that stuff, but it does have its own little uniqueness to it. You're also going to, of course, if you played any exit games before, there's a bunch of things that are going to be from the previous games, how you rip things and make things and all that kind of stuff. It's all there as well, but there's just a lot more to it. I love the story, I love the design and the artwork. Some of the locations were like my favorite types of locations from all different stories in the past. And it just wrapped it up into a night tight little bow and you solve the adventure and it's fun and it's unique and interesting. I could play this with anybody. Me and my grandma can sit down and play this. Me and my younger cousins or even my nieces and nephews could play this game and still have a blast doing it. I can solve some of the more difficult puzzles. None of them are too difficult. And I can let them solve some of them as well. And that's what's really truly wonderful about this game. The only one sad thing about this game is just like any other exit game, once you finish playing it, you are done playing it. It's time to throw it away. And if you want to play it again, you'll need to buy it once more. Or if you want to pass it on with somebody else, you'll have to actually buy them a gift. But really for what you get at the cost, this is a wonderful, wonderful gift. Uh, a pre-Christmas advent calendar gift that you and your family can enjoy throughout the entire month. And surprisingly enough, we went back and played every single thing in this game. I usually exit games for like an hour and a half and you just play through it or two hours and you're done. This one here had a lot more value to it because you could go through each and every day. And people asked me on certain days, oh, don't forget, we got to play the game because they were so excited about it. Uh, I, I don't have, I just think this was a really wonderful experience. I think if you love Christmas style themes and games and escape rooms, this is a must buy. It's an, it's an instant pickup. Uh, I am a huge fan of The Hunt for the Golden Book by Cosmos. Well done guys, honestly well done. My first seal of approval for an escape room game. It's what I'd come back to and play next year with a new group of people just so that they could experience this game because I had a ton of fun. Well, thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review or I guess Advent calendar game review. I am so thrilled to be able to show you guys just a little bit of a taste or explain a little bit of a taste of what this game's like. But if you'd like, we have a live stream every uh, Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST that we stream on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch Live. And we played this game on our live streams at least twice, if not three times, and a multitude of days. So it won't ruin all of the game. You'll see maybe like four or five doors each time to get a little taste of what the puzzles are like. Or it might make for a good gift if you watch the streams to give to somebody else. But either way, uh, I think that's the best way to see and experience the game, if, if not in person, watching everybody else try and solve the puzzles, how hard they are, what you think the audience is going to be for this game and if it's going to be right for you guys. You can also go ahead and head to our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Hit that like, comment, and of course, if you'd like, subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. It greatly does help. Uh, and you can go ahead and push that bell notification button as well. We are now currently sellers on Whatnot, and I stream every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., and we, play, uh, we we sell board games. A lot of the games that we get, that we've played a lot of, and are just sitting in the garage, uh, taking up space and not being used, I want to give those out to people, and I want to do it in a way where I'm not going to be losing a ton of money because I have so many games, I can't just ship them all out for free like we do on the live stream. So I am going to be selling them. I'll sell them for a very base cost, it's like $10 or whatever, and there's a link down below in our description if you would like to join us on whatnot and see our live streams and maybe purchase a game. It's really simple, really easy, and I really enjoy the live streaming there as much as I do on our normal live streams. And if you've ever seen our live streams, 
on uh, our other platforms, then you'll notice there's a very similar trend on whatnot, that what we do and how we have content attached to what we sell. And there's a auctions, there's a buy it now. We do run a giveaway or two as well, beginning at the end of the stream. And I just love for you guys to head over and check it out and see what I have. And if you have something, a game specifically that you want and you want to get on the really cheap, then ah, that's where you'd want to go. All right, guys, have a happy, happy new year. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank you.